Hey there, Mad Money viewers. Today we're diving deep into the world of Broadcom, a semiconductor giant making waves in the tech industry. This company has been on a roller coaster ride, but recently, it's been showing signs of a strong comeback. With impressive earnings growth and a stock chart hinting at a potential breakout, Broadcom is definitely on our radar. We're talking about a company that's not afraid to innovate and dominate its market. From cloud computing to AI, Broadcom's fingerprints are everywhere. They're the brains behind the operations of some of the biggest names in tech, and with a stock that's been flashing bullish signals, investors are starting to take notice. But hold your horses. Before you rush out and buy a truckload of Broadcom shares, we need to dig deeper. We'll analyze their financials, dissect their growth strategy, and uncover the potential risks that lie ahead. By the end of this deep dive, you'll have a clear picture of whether Broadcom deserves a spot in your portfolio. Let's get started. Now let's talk charts, baby. When I see a double bottom pattern forming on a stock chart, my ears perk up. It's like the market is whispering, hey, this stock is ready to make a move. And guess what? Broadcom's chart is screaming double bottom. For those of you who haven't spent countless hours glued to stock charts, let me explain. A double bottom pattern happens when a stock's price drops, bounces back up, drops again to a similar level, and then reverses course once more. It looks like a W on the chart, and it often signals a potential reversal in the stock's downtrend. Now I'm not saying that a double bottom guarantees a stock will skyrocket, but it's a strong indication that investors are starting to buy in at a lower price creating upward pressure. And that, my friends, is a beautiful thing to see. But remember, we can't rely on chart patterns alone. We need to look at the bigger picture, the fundamentals, and the story behind the numbers. So buckle up as we explore Broadcom's impressive earnings growth next. Alright, let's talk numbers. Broadcom has been knocking it out of the park when it comes to earnings growth. We're talking consistent quarter after quarter growth that would make even the most skeptical investor crack a smile. Just look at their recent track record. Revenue has been climbing steadily and profits are soaring. This tells us that Broadcom is not only selling more of its products but also doing it efficiently, keeping those profit margins healthy. What's driving this impressive performance? Well, Broadcom has its fingers in every pie of the tech world. They're a major player in semiconductors, software, and infrastructure solutions. From smartphones to data centers, Broadcom's technology is powering the digital age. But it's not just about being in the right place at the right time. Broadcom has a knack for innovation and strategic acquisitions that have allowed them to stay ahead of the curve. They're constantly evolving, adapting, and expanding their reach. This consistent earnings growth is a testament to Broadcom's strong business model, efficient operations, and ability to capitalize on the ever-growing demand for its products and services. Now let's talk about a savvy move Broadcom made recently, the stock split. You see, when a company splits its stock, it's essentially slicing up its shares into smaller pieces. This makes the stock more affordable for individual investors, which can attract more buyers and boost demand. Think of it like this. You've got a delicious pizza, but it's too big for one person to eat, so you cut it into smaller slices, making it easier for more people to enjoy. That's what a stock split does. It makes the stock more digestible for the average investor. Broadcom's stock split had a noticeable impact on its trading volume and liquidity. More shares were changing hands, making it easier for investors to buy and sell without causing wild price swings. This increased liquidity is a good thing, folks. It creates a more stable and attractive environment for investors. So, the stock split wasn't just a cosmetic change, it was a strategic move to make Broadcom more accessible to a wider range of investors. And, judging by the increased trading activity, it seems to have done the trick. Hold on to your hats because Broadcom's third quarter earnings were a thing of beauty. They absolutely crushed analysts' expectations, sending a clear message that this company is firing on all cylinders. Revenue was up, profits were up, and guidance for the future was rosy. It was the kind of earnings report that makes investors do a happy dance. But it wasn't just the numbers that impressed me, it was the story behind the numbers. Broadcom's core businesses were performing exceptionally well, demonstrating the strength and resilience of their diverse portfolio. What's more, their strategic investments in growth areas like AI and cloud computing are starting to pay off big time. These are the technologies of the future, and Broadcom is positioning itself to be a dominant player in these lucrative markets. The stock market reacted accordingly, sending Broadcom's shares higher on the news. 
This positive reaction from investors is a clear indication that they believe in Broadcom's growth story and see a bright future ahead. Now before we get too carried away with all this positive news, it's important to acknowledge that no investment is without its risks. Even the most promising companies face challenges and uncertainties. When it comes to Broadcom, analysts have somewhat mixed opinions. Some are bullish, citing the company's strong earnings growth, strategic acquisitions, and leadership in key markets. Others are more cautious, pointing to potential headwinds such as competition, geopolitical tensions, and the cyclical nature of the semiconductor industry. It's crucial to weigh these factors carefully and make an informed decision based on your own risk tolerance and investment goals. Remember, diversification is key. Don't put all your eggs in one basket no matter how promising that basket may seem. Here are some potential risks to consider. Competition. The tech industry is fiercely competitive and Broadcom faces stiff competition from other semiconductor giants. Geopolitical tensions. Trade wars and political instability can disrupt supply chains and impact Broadcom's global operations. Economic slowdown. A global economic slowdown could dampen demand for Broadcom's products and services. It's important to stay informed about these potential risks and monitor how Broadcom is navigating these challenges. But remember, every investment comes with some degree of risk. The key is to understand those risks and determine if the potential rewards outweigh the uncertainties. Now let's talk about one of the most exciting aspects of Broadcom's business, their leadership in AI semiconductor solutions. Folks, artificial intelligence is not just some futuristic fantasy. It's here, it's real, and it's transforming every industry imaginable. And guess who's at the forefront of this AI revolution? You guessed it, Broadcom. Their chips and software are powering the AI algorithms that are changing the way we live, work, and interact with the world around us. From self-driving cars to personalized medicine, Broadcom's AI solutions are making the impossible possible. They're partnering with some of the biggest names in tech to develop cutting-edge AI applications that will shape the future. This leadership in AI is a major growth driver for Broadcom. The demand for AI chips is skyrocketing, and Broadcom is perfectly positioned to capitalize on this trend. Their expertise in this field gives them a significant competitive advantage and sets them up for long-term success. So, when you think about investing in Broadcom, think about investing in the future of AI. Think about the transformative power of this technology and the company that's leading the charge. Here's a little secret that Wall Street insiders don't want you to know. Institutional investors are like the cool kids in the market. They're the hedge funds, pension funds, and mutual funds with deep pockets and a knack for spotting winning investments. And guess what? These institutional investors are loading up on Broadcom shares. They're buying hand over fist, signaling their confidence in the company's future prospects. Why is this significant? Because institutional investors have access to the best research, analysts, and insights. They're not just throwing darts at a board. Board, they're making calculated bets based on a deep understanding of the market. So when we see institutions piling into a stock like Broadcom, it's a strong vote of confidence. It tells us that the smart money is betting on Broadcom's continued growth and success. Of course, institutional investors aren't always right, but their actions are definitely something to pay attention to. Their increased stake in Broadcom suggests that they see long-term value and growth potential in the company. All right, folks, we've analyzed the charts, dissected the earnings, explored the risks, and uncovered the potential. Now it's time for the million-dollar question, is Broadcom a buy? The answer, as with most things in life and investing, is, it depends. There's no denying that Broadcom is a powerhouse in the tech industry. They have a proven track record of growth, a strong management team, and a leadership position in key markets like AI and semiconductors. Their recent earnings report was stellar, and their stock chart is hinting at a potential breakout. However, it's important to remember that no investment is without its risks. Competition is fierce, geopolitical tensions can create uncertainty, and the cyclical nature of the semiconductor industry can lead to volatility. Ultimately, the decision of whether or not to invest in Broadcom is a personal one. You need to weigh the potential rewards against the risks, and decide if it aligns with your own investment goals and risk tolerance. If you're looking for a high-growth tech stock with a strong track record and a bright future, Broadcom is definitely worth considering. 
but if you're more risk averse or prefer companies with a less volatile history, you might want to explore other options. Remember, diversification is key. Don't put all your eggs in one basket, no matter how promising that basket may seem. Do your own research, consult with a financial advisor, and make an informed decision that aligns with your individual circumstances. And there you have it folks, the Broadcom story in a nutshell. Now go forth and conquer the market.